very warm welcome to Joburg Today. I'm your host, Riley Tlagani Posakwe, bringing you nothing but the best when it comes to homegrown Josie stories. Johannesburg is a city that draws people from all walks of life, people who are looking for business, alternative entertainment and lifestyle. Leroy decided to go about town to find a place that is quite unique. <laughs> Now, I've always been a seeker of thrill, like different experience. So I think I might have just found the right place to do it. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the show. So what were the early days of drag like? Drag came into play with parties. People were throwing parties. Mm -hmm. And we were going as men and so on, yeah. drinking and dancing and so on. And then they started putting themes to them. And then slowly, slowly we started dressing up. And then the music plays and you start miming a number and so on. Uh -huh. And the next time you you take a number with kind of thing that you have um, done at home, you know, rehearsed at home a bit. Yeah. And uh, then a friend of mine says, why don't we create a little group that is going to be called the Tuck Shop Girls. Our motto was, we sing so well because we tuck so well. <laughs> Do you think straight men have an issue with you being a drag and, and how does that work out? As a gay man, uh, you just feel the freedom to do what you want to do and, and that's it. It's not a stigma, it's not why am I doing this and so on. It's something that I enjoy doing, that's why I sold my house to open a restaurant that I could do drag in, you know, so I'm living my dream at the moment. But uh, yeah, there's no issues to, to say like, um, there's no psychological issues, I think. Do you think we as straight men should actually explore this different area or aspect of our uh, femininity? You can't expect a man just to put on, he has to want to do it. He has to, oh, unless he's a, he's a playful guy, he's a prankster, whatever, you know, then he can dress, you know. Other men dress with their wives' clothes behind closed doors because they, they like to feel, I think I've heard, they like to feel the the feel of the woman's clothes on them. Trying but that's a psychological like thing, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, something cool. completely different. We just come here, we put this on, we put the dresses on, we take it off and we become men again and we carry on our lives. As you get dressed, do you get into a transformation to become a totally different individual altogether? We met before this started mm -hmm. and I said hello to you outside and we shook hands like mm -hmm. men and so on. Now I'm putting on makeup, Eventually, I put the lashes on, the shoes on, the the the, the bum on. The <laughs> you every, bum. Yeah, you have to put uh, because we are straight down, up uh, and down. But uh, the women are more curved, so uh, we have to put padding on the side and so on. Then and then, when I go on stage, it's all mannerisms of girls and so on. But I change as I go slowly, slowly. Then we finish the show. I'll come back here. I'll take it all off, and I go out as a man. And that's my best moment because I go to the, all the ladies and I say, hello, are you enjoying yourselves? And they look at me and say, oh, it was you on stage. <laughs> my God, what's the difference? And, that, and that's when I think, oh, thank God. I'm not like a girly, girly looking guy that just put a bit of makeup and made a girl on stage. I am a man and a woman. As always, we love hearing from you, so do yourself that favor and hit the like button on our Facebook. That's JoburgToday.tv or follow us on Twitter at JoburgToday. 
Independent films are often overlooked by major movie theatres and have to find specific outlets to be screened. Luckily for us, the Independent Bioscope Cinema is here in Johannesburg to offer us an alternative to motion pictures. We are here at the Bioscope in Maboneng Precinct, the only independent cinema in the whole of Johannesburg. And we're joining them for their Noodle Box Night. Let's go check it out. The Bioscope is Johannesburg's only truly independent cinema. Uh, we're one indoor cinema, uh, 62 seats, and we screen every night of the week. Um, tickets, popcorn, the whole deal. We started it, uh, myself and my business partner Daryl Els, um, being two film students. Uh, Daryl wrote uh, his thesis on whether or not there was space for an independent cinema in Johannesburg. Me being his friend, thought that was interesting, and um, together we, we, we started. We started as a screening project, and then by 2010 we had the opportunity to find the actual space and actually build a permanent cinema, which was a very exciting time. We've found that we're able to give local content a real place to exist. We found that interesting documentaries that really appeal to sort of a niche uh, audience could really find a successful home at the Bioscope. Stuff that evokes debate um, about around issues that people care about. And then we also found a place for fun stuff and the flexibility to go back uh, to play cult uh, content. The Bioscope's actually got Noodle Box Cinema showing tonight. Um, I'm a big fan. I love cheesy B-grade martial arts movies and uh, they, they come thick and fast at, at the Bioscope so that's why we're here this evening. Another thing that makes the Bioscope special is what we call signature events, the Bioscope signature events. Our most famous and most long Running signature event is something called Noodle Box Cinema. We go to Cyril Dean to get the noodles. We're very proud of the, the guys who, who make them. We're at the moment going back to kind of very cheesy um, uh, 80s kung fu movies. Imagine watching kung fu movies and eating noodles at the same time. So if you're hungry for a little bit of fun and a change of scenery, then you know exactly where to go. I'm with Malarato Kwena for Joburg Today. Hi, my name is John Barker. I'm the director of Spud 3 Learning to Fly, and you're watching Joburg Today. That's it for today's show, but be sure to check out our playlist to see what's happening in and around your beautiful city of gold. And from me, Riley, I bid you adieu and have a lovely day.